fight out in the hall during I the heard. last commercial. Ronnie, yeah. the limo driver, fighting with, uh, with Dan? Dan the Song Parody Man. What well, happened you know, there? Ronnie's been out there just needling people all morning. <laughs> well, you say it like this is the first time he's done that. <laughs> but he's been particular. <laughs> you know, somebody said to me, Ronnie's on fire today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I know the E-Crew got it on tape. I'm in the process of editing that tape now because i got to bleep it, but I asked around about what happened, and as best I can tell, Tabitha gave some pictures to Dan to give to Ronnie, but there's some history between them. They don't like each other. Really? So Dan gave the pictures to Ronnie, and Ronnie said, what are you, her effing agent? And then it just escalated from there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like but Ronnie's, Ronnie's had something to say to everybody who's gone through the hall today. Absolutely. Ronnie has no fuse whatsoever. Like, it just, <laughs> it just, just snaps. It just ignites. Yeah. What? You have no Here fuse. It goes. You just ignite. I ignite? I did not ignite. <laughs> I heard you're out there fighting and yelling. I'm out not the... fighting and yelling. This guy. I well, just... I'm going to hear the tape. I don't care. I'll, Might as well I'll, come I'll clean. You, I'll give you the tape right now. I don't, I don't, you don't have to play anything. I'll tell you what happened. What, what happened? happened? He, he, there was a. There were some pictures that Tabitha had, okay? So I said to him, now uh, you're, you're Tabitha's agent. If Tabitha wanted me to have the picture, she would have gave it to me before when she showed it to she me. She would have given it to me. Whatever. Right. <laughs> don't, don't set me off, man. You know, well, I'm trying see, to, he doesn't I'm like trying to blow up. It no fuse, she would have okay? gave me. Given it. I'm, she know, would have given it whatever. to me. Whatever. She would have gave Did he say gave it? He, he said he gave it. Would have gave whatever. It. I would have okay. gotten. She would have, she would have am whatever. gotten it to me. <laughs> All right. Me and him have a history, okay? From a long time ago. He and I. Me and him. Whatever. (laughs) Hello there, Tabitha. Whatever it is, dude. I understand you gave him a picture. Did you go to school at like one day at all? Yeah, one day at a time. You graduated, right? Yeah, I graduated from the School of Hard Knocks. Go ahead. Okay. (laughs) We we have a history, okay? I don't like him and he doesn't like me. That's not true. It goes back a long time. Why don't you like Why him? Don't I don't even like remember. Him? Because he ha- he has an attitude. Okay. He <laughs> <laughs> All right. He has a frig- he has a friggin' attitude. And he doesn't like to be told anything. Okay. That's so untrue. Like, right? what do you tell him? That like, I asked him to stay at a green room and stay away from the guests. And right, I know this guy, and I have the right to go in and Wait, say hello to him. He came okay? he came to me earlier this morning. Maybe right. Ronnie doesn't know this. He said to me, "Listen, I know we're not supposed to go in the green room and bother guests. However, I am friends with Shuli. Is it okay if I go in and say hello?" Had nothing hello? to do with Shuli. This was with okay. the Ace. Yeah. Okay, so that I didn't know about. Okay. Now, I can bring you up to date on that. But first of all, we might have had a history. We've had some confrontations, but I don't dislike or hate the guy. I, I didn't say I hated you, so I let's have, get I that have, straight. I happen, no, you said you I happen to like No, I, I, like the no, guy, I didn't but say I, I hated him, all right? I asked him. You I know sit the guy's in the hall. High I don't bother him at all. He walks past so me funny. like he's not even there, all right? And I expect him to do the same thing to me, all right? <laughs> well, see, that's, see, that's a lot of the attitude. But don't turn my screws, okay? If, if I'm not talking, you, you say, don't talk to me. What does he say to you I don't need, turns your no, screws? No, no, apparently he's, what he said. I call him Mr. Smirk. He constantly, he's got this, oh, he's got this <laughs> stupid smirk on his face. Yeah, everybody talks okay? about it all the time. It's, it's defi- They do. It's Actually, they do. The, definitely the general I'll bring consensus. in 10 people right now to talk about your smirk on your face. Maybe after you make your comments with your attitude, I have a smirk on my face because to me, I don't like, talk yeah, to you. Yeah, come on, dude. give me a break. I don't talk to you. Th- I mean, this is a classic Ryan example. I don't talk to you. If, if I could please. I don't talk, talk to you. I'm See, sorry for talking you. while you're interrupting, but I'll, I'll try and get a word in edgewise. Talk to you, okay? Let's hear, maybe yeah. we can work this out. Let's yeah, I don't want to work it out. I just want to keep it talking. the way it is. Forget about working it out. But the way it is appears not to be working. He handed you pictures of Tabitha and you went off on her. I didn't go off him. I just asked him if he's his her agent. Come on, that's This is a classic example of Ronnie always having to know everything. Tabitha, I went to give Tabitha back her pictures, which she left on the couch. She said, oh, that's for Ronnie. I want Ronnie to have it. So I went to give it to him. He's like, what are you, her agent now? I said, no, she wanted you to have it. If she wanted me to have it, she would have given it to me herself. Exactly. Gave it's it. like, gave into, it. into that <laughs> However, that's not what happened because she wanted him to have it and she asked me to give it to him. So obviously, things didn't go the way you said. They might right. have not things gone the way you right. wanted. Right. However... You were wrong in the yeah. situation, and you can't own up to that. So what's the big deal? I'm handing you a picture. Just take it. If I don't you have want a problem to dealing you. with me, he doesn't yeah. want it from you. Apparently, I don't like you. Okay, well, I thought but you he doesn't said hate you. Didn't you. Like Let's it. get it yeah. straight. No, he yes. said he doesn't okay. hate him. I don't I guess like you. A fine, and I, I don't, guess tr- a fine I don't line trust there. you as far as I can throw you. Oh, wow. Well, maybe you can't troll me that far, as you say. You're kidding. What did he do to you? Yeah, where is this? Never mind. What did he do? Never mind. No, we want to mind. Never mind. He doesn't like anybody questioning his authority or. Or, no, what I don't he, have or what he thinks is okay? his authority. I don't have any authority. And it's, and it's so funny he says doing, he sits I'm in his chair and minds okay? his own business. However, he's one of the biggest ball busters in this place, and you 
know that as well as everybody else does. He walks through the holes, busting everyone's balls. Well, he doesn't walk through. I mean, he, we sit, all he sits bust in his each chair. Other's balls, okay? Exactly. That's what people do. They have but I don't time. bust your balls because I don't like you. You, you cop okay? an attitude, <laughs> and I don't want to like you, and I don't want to be your friend. People okay? sometimes oh, make the mistake you know, so of stay walking away from me, by like him. I said. I think I might start <laughs> shedding some tears now because I really thought that we were going to have a meaningful. But Shirley has some insight. What were you saying? I was just saying people sometimes make the mistake of walking by Ronnie in the hallway, and that sometimes will elicit a comment. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He likes to be greeted. You know, yeah. Right. But but it's I mean there was an incident the other the other day when Ace was here, one of the people that was in his entourage, I happen to know personally. I, I played stickball with the guy. Go ahead. I know the guy. Yeah. So I'm walking by the guys in the doorway, half in and out. No, he wasn't. And I stopped. No, he wasn't. He was you walked right into the green to, room. He was the closest person to the door. He had already acknowledged me. Now I could have been like running. And I with told an you to go clear anything like that with Gary before you go into the I green room. I literally stopped Didn't him I? and I said, Hey, how you doing? Shook his hand and that was the end of it. And then he tried to equate it to, you know, uh, you know, they t- Sal was told to do that, not to harass the guests. No, I didn't say but anything about slight, harassing. I said to you, difference. I said, next time you want to go in and say hello to somebody, just clear it with Gary. They guess in the green room, and that's the rule around here. That is the rule yeah. for everyone. I've, I've never, I've never entered the the green room. That's a lie in too. An, in an inappropriate manner. Nobody and asked you to go in there. You're supposed to ask Gary first. I was literally walking by the door, and this guy who I am, who I know. Acknowledge me. No, he He's didn't. standing closest no, you, to the door. No, he didn't. You walked now, by three now, times. No, I could have walked right you past walk him. You walked by like it's a fish tank. You keep walking by and looking Give in. Give me a break. That's, that's so untrue. You do it all I the could, time. I could care you less. You do it all the time. Don't you realize that every time I have to walk past the green room what do you from feel where I he's, work, uh, I would have to walk past you first. Do you first. feel he's, he's obsessed, obsessed with the green room? Fan. He's obsessed an obsessed fan. fan. Please. Totally. Please, I went and I said hi to the guy. There was, I, didn't, I didn't even notice what that, is uh, that it, Ace uh, and Jason? Chuck were in the green room at I'm the not time. sure of the details, but I think something happened between these two the day of the office oh. beauty pageant. Oh, really? I think, like, what? It, wasn't the, you were out in the hall bitching that Dan was bothering you too much when he was dressed up like a girl? Like, he kept making Oh, yeah, well, that was something. nothing. He was made you joking. uncomfortable? No, he was joking around. Yeah, that was he was trying to, for he seemed pretty he was angry trying to grab day, my crotch, that's all. Come on, Come on. Stay back there. We can't have you wandering, man. No, please. Oh, you like Come that. On. Yeah. But have you felt this But that was for- a joke. That, that day was a joke. Right? That why was, was okay. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why is it, I'm just curious. Why is a joke good that day, but not other days? Well, I, it didn't annoy me like right. it annoyed me today, okay? Now, should I have some sort of like Ronnie annoyance no, chart so I can decide me, when, when I can interact I with you and when you I can't? you don't have to. Just follow the rule. Let's I know stay out of the green to. room. That's fine. That's okay? fine. I have no problem. I don't think there's never been an issue. It's with, not a fish tank. I that, know it's not it's a not fish tank. It's not for you to go and stare in all the time. Please. Can I ask you, Ronnie? I do not you, do that. Have you felt yes, this you way? Do. Have you felt this way about Dan before he started working here, or yeah. just as? Oh a, yeah. yeah, we go back a long it's time. Pretty funny. Oh. That's what I thought. The very first time, the Ronnie, guy's an obsessed fan, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, you, can, you can actually. Uh, he's very lucky to have a job here. He can thank Howard for that. Oh, I consider myself very fortunate to have a job here, but I think my conduct speaks for itself. I mean, you know, Ronnie is. Obviously, a little delusional. This, yes, I'm not the only person who's delusional. ever had a problem. Yes, what with happened to? I thought we were going to have a nice, happy office. We did so. have wow. it one time. Stay away from me. We have a nice, happy office. Well, uh, Doug, you go ahead. You got the last word. Hey, listen, Howard, I was up in the studio, okay, and Ronnie was there. He's like your bodyguard. He's about four foot eight. He's not throwing anybody anywhere. I'll come up there, Ronnie. I'll rip that freaking gray r- wig off your head. My gray wig? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, my gray wig. All right, crawl back in your hole, you wannabe gangster. Come on up, man. Yeah, I'll come up there. Come on up. I'll come up there and come I'll miss you because I'll step on you, you <laughs> midget. Come on up there. I'll come up, you come on jerk up off there. you. Come on up there. Well, I don't know what's going <laughs> wow. on. Can I, can I quickly just say what happened? The very first time Ronnie and I ever met, you had a song par- parody contest going on. It's got to be when you first moved to this building. So I wanted to deliver a, sh- um, a song I did. I was up 24, 30 hours straight. You know, I worked all day. I did the song. I drove here. I parked in the garage under the building. As I'm waiting, Stuttering John walks past me in the direction, I guess, towards the freight elevator. So I parked the car. I figured that's where I got to go. You know, Stuttering John just walked that way. He's obviously showing up for work. So I walked the same way. I take this elevator up. There's a clipboard on the wall that says, you know, K-Rock, you know, with the, with the floor number. And then I end up in the delivery area where the door is locked and you have the, to be the buzzed The first wall doesn't say anything on the buttons. K-Rock is... I, did, I, did, did I say the buttons? Yeah. No. Why don't you just listen? I yeah. said there was a clipboard hanging okay. on the wall <laughs> with like, it was like a delivery yeah. line. Right, what is and the point? Yeah, you couldn't get in through the front the door, point, so you came in through the back door. No, abso- it's simple. Absolutely not. Yeah, like your friend Eddie. It was the first, you know? it was the first, it the was guy the first you time don't I ever know. came here. You're obsessed so friend I'm also. Not, I'm not going on the door, yeah, so the guy Eddie, Ronnie answers the door, and he just freaks out. The guy with the fruit truck. 
That's not your friend. <laughs> yeah, I think you should be carried away yeah. in a food truck, Ronnie. Yeah. You get serious yeah. problems. Yeah. Dude. yeah. Why don't you admit that's your friend? Yeah. Good well, lord. It's not my friend. Yeah. Okay. You he's, know it's your he's friend. He's as much your friend as he is my yeah, okay. friend. Actually, you've seen okay. him more often than I have, so he's obviously your pal. Well, he writes for you. He said. Now, uh, all right. Let me. As long as we got into this, you want to hear the fight in the hall? Yes. All right. Here we go. That's good. There's a fight going on in the hall. I don't I sit there. Dude, I sit there and I don't fucking bother anybody all fucking morning. Do I bother you all morning? Do I no, you say don't, a no, fucking word no, to you, you all morning? No, you don't bother anybody. Do I say anything to you all morning? Absolutely Do I not. say anything to you? Are you saying Good. something now? Don't yeah, fucking say are. nothing to me, all right? Relax, man. All right? Don't fucking of attitude. Yeah, with you, yeah. Because you fucking annoy my ass. <laughs> Why? Because I say things that make sense? Yeah. And not take, to me, you know. And I don't take your word as gospel. Hey, if dude, you agree with something, dude, stay the fuck away if from me. If I agree you with something you Plain say, simple, I agree with you. Stay it, away from me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna walk around. I'm not bothering you. Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? Your attitude's bothering. I'm not bothering you. I'm hey. sitting there minding my own fucking business. Stay the fuck away from Somebody me. Somebody asked me to hand you something, and when I go to stay away from me, man. That's all I can tell you. All right. Just stay the fuck away from me, Dan. I'm telling you. I'm on the opposite end of the wall. Good. Stay there. And when you walk past me, I'm a fucking piece of stone to you. Just remember that. Yeah, good. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Keep it up with your shit attitude. How did this start? Because he's a fucking asshole. That's how it started, okay? He's got a smirk on his face constantly. He wants to be a smart ass. He wants to be like Sal, okay? He'll never be Sal and he'll never be Richard Christie because he's too fucking dumb. Dude, you, could, you do have a short fuse. Yes. No, I don't. You're in the hall screaming and No, yelling. I don't. We, we hang out and we joke all morning out there. We, you know, it's just yeah, but somebody, then when it gets a little... somebody tries to turn your screws, man. It's, you know, it comes to a point. But, that's but, it. But, Ronnie, and I'm not coming down on you, but I'm trying to figure out how him handing the pictures was turning your screws. In a major way. Yeah. Like, because I, I just don't like him. I, I don't want him near me. Yeah, but you can't. He, the guy came over to hand you some pictures. Why don't you just take the pictures? So let Tabitha give me the pictures. If she well, that's she not up didn't. to him. She, she showed him. them to me this morning, and she said to me, aren't these nice? I yeah, said, they're Ronnie, great. And if she wanted Ronnie, to give them to me, the guy did gave nothing him. wrong, and you're blowing your stack out in the hall. I just don't want him near me. You look unprofessional. Made it simple. Yeah, but he works here. Good, Figure let out him a way work to, here. Yeah, let but you can't. If a guy walks up and hands you something, you got to say thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the picture. It's in my pocket. Thank you. My well, pleasure. Thank you, but still always, stay away from I'm me. I'm always happy to help out. Okay? And I got to walk thank past this guy picture. no matter where I have to go you in this building. You can walk past me anytime you want. Just don't talk to me. I told you that. <laughs> you know? <it's, laughs> at at least least he, I mean, what kind, of, what kind of situation is going on out there? Just sit there be friendly. I do. Dude, I hang out with... Do we hang out and have a good time out there? Do I bother anybody? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, at least oh, he doesn't hate that. Yes. <laughs> come on, tell the, <laughs> tell the truth for once. Come on. You like yeah, make, it good the, make it good for the egg. No, no, it's already, this is already Yeah, I like great. to push Isaac's buttons. You push okay. my buttons. And Isaac but likes to push my it. buttons. Okay. We do it all the time. Isaac, I ain't fucking with you now. Get this camera out of my face. You're an asshole. Okay? I was shooting the You know door. what? You Go fuck up. yourself. You know what? You're a fucking asshole. The you Get the up. fuck out of here, all right? Jesus. You're a real moron. What is it, Ralph? Hey, now? Hey, now. Hey, you know, it's just kind of interesting because Ronnie must really hate him because Ronnie, you know... I don't hate anybody, okay? I don't hate him. <laughs> yeah, but, but if like, you Ronnie's did hate nice somebody... Guy, but Ronnie comes off like yeah. a hard ass, but Ronnie really is a nice guy. And so this guy must have really done something to piss him off. What is it, Ronnie? Uh, I don't even want to get into it. I made sense. Yeah, you made sense. Do you Sorry. know what you did? Yeah, he just, uh, I, I guess, you know, he really thinks, he says that he doesn't, but he definitely has some sort, he's the hall monitor, he does have a, a position monitor, of authority. Right. Exactly. However, if I ever question that authority, only because it completely defies logic when he's making a judgment call, I just, you know, say, this is why I did this, you know, as opposed to just walking away with my tail between because these Because the Terry Shiloh story that. had no impact on these guys. No. Yeah. Raven from Scores. Yeah, I just want to say, when that old Jew Gene starts yelling at people, I get so freaking turned on. I love him. <laughs> yeah, okay, Richard. <laughs> Raven Richard Was that supposed to be a chick? I yeah. think so Michael Schiavo Who was the husband of Terry Schiavo Hello Michael Hello Yes I know you're very sad What do you want to say? I just want to say that Terry died because She was so bored from this argument <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes Zolar Thank you Sal Hey Howard Yeah Man listen He Ronnie is an egomaniac And a control freak He's got Dan all wrong. Dan is so professional around like people who have uh, you know star status and stuff like that. 
I've been out with Dan, and we've been in front of like a lot. All of right, different- you know, we're never Zola. We're never going to satisfy this argument. Well, listen, get the tapes out of the first time I came into the studio. Ronnie was up my. But, like, there was no tomorrow. Cursing, so unprofessional. Well, you were, maybe you weren't behaving yourself. No, I was totally, and I didn't even raise my voice, yeah, and I gave him every yeah. yes, sir. Bring I got out the you, tapes. Sir. Bring out the tapes. How drunk were you that day, dude? All right, okay. Come Listen, on. I don't know what's going on out there. We figure out how to behave out there. I'm behaving. Try to behave I'm in a professional. Fine. I've, been, I've been here a long time, haven't I? I had a woman in here yeah, yeah. who bleached the inside yeah, of her know, butt, and you guys didn't it. act professionally. Yeah. I saw it. It looked good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to work this out over lunch, Ron? Or no, no. Get together later on no, today? No. no, I can't. But okay. there's, no interest in sort of, there's no interest in making it easier for you guys? Yeah, it's easy for me. No, it's it been, is It's not. been fine all this time. It's so funny. He's like, no, I don't need the guy. However, don't say a word to me. I'm done. That's good. That's a good way to say it. I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's uh, take a break. Everybody, calm down. There's some I'm kind calm, of fight. Man. Don't know you're no, not. There's no fight, dude. The guy handed you pictures when and you he set off your fuse. Do you I don't understand the animosity. No you say this goes back a long way, and you I, don't trust the guy as far as you can throw him. That sounds pretty, um, yeah. pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. backstory. We there's no fight. We need backstory. The wrong Fighting with him? We need backstory. Come on, Ron. No backstory. All right, then let's be done with it. Let's be done with it then. I'll, I'll save him from that. I want him to feel comfortable working here. Good, let him make out. him comfortable. Uh, 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 dude. You want to be the hall monitor, you're going to make I, everyone comfortable. <laughs> you hear what I said? I, All right, I'll go out there and make him comfortable. So speak to him like you speak to everybody else. Right. <laughs> he does. That's the problem. <laughs> Life just goes on exactly as it did before. I mean, he's still going to be sitting there. i got to walk by him 50 times a day. You never know when is the right and the wrong time with this guy. What's okay to do today isn't okay to tomorrow. And, uh... God forbid you disagree with a guy, you know, all hell's going to break loose. I mean, it's, it's impossible to have a conversation or any kind of discussion because he just flies off the handle the second you disagree with him. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep, you know, I have to walk past him 30, 40, 50 times a day. It's just going to keep on happening. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm, I'm willing to kiss and make up. I'm willing to, uh, you know, say I'm sorry if I did anything that offended him, but I'm not going to apologize for whatever I did because I did nothing wrong. So how's it going to end with Dan? What? Does he still have to stay yeah. away from you? Dude, I'm, so, I'm right here. I'm not staying away from anybody. My job is in the hall. I'm in the hall. That's where I'm staying. So I got to uh, make this uncomfortable walk past him now, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure nothing will happen. Nothing's going to happen. Just like nothing happened before until you started your shit, you know? Nothing happened. No, nothing happened. <laughs> 